Good morning, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. Uh, our webinar will begin in just a few minutes. While you're waiting, feel free to review our program information at csudh.edu slash CEIE slash meeting dash event dash planning. We'll be right with you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. Uh, our webinar will be Good day, everyone. My name is Anissa Barton Thompson, and I'm the social media specialist here at the College of Extended and International Education for California State University, Dominguez Hills. I'll be your host for this session. So this webinar is being recorded and will be available on our website and social media resources shortly after today's session. Feel free to download the CSUDH Meeting and Event Planning Certificate Program Information Kit for details about the program covered in the webinar today, the address is bit.ly slash csudh-mex-infokit. We have provided a link in the chat for those who are participating live. It will also be available via a follow-up email to attendees as well as on our website. So jump in, I'd like to review the Zoom controls. This session is being presented in a web format, so you don't need to worry about turning on your microphone or your camera. However, we do want your participation. So help us address your needs. Use the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen, and it's available on the desktop app as well as in the web browser, or in the top right of your screen if you're on a mobile device. Please ask your questions in the Q&A panel rather than in the chat panel. Once you click that Q&A button, a dialog box will open up, allow you to type your question in. And then in that chat panel, we will be providing helpful links and other information. Our marketing staff members, Stephanie Buchian and Keith Otterberg, as well as program director, Elizabeth Legg, will be standing by to assist. We'll be answering those questions at the end of the session although often you may find the questions you have have been answered during the program overviews. So let's take a look at our agenda for today. Now, this program is uh, the Meeting and Event Planning Certificate Program, also known as MEX. So you might have, hear that abbreviation quite a bit through the presentation. We'll begin by meeting our faculty who will introduce you to the program via an overview of benefits, expectations and course details. Then we'll go over the registration and login information and address your questions at the end of the Q&A session. 
Our goal today is to give you a 50,000 foot overview of more than 50 hours of instruction in the fine art of event planning. Instructor Deshaun Nguyen has joined us today and will introduce the program to you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, coming to this session today. I am excited uh, about uh, this program. I had the opportunity to um, help uh, Cal State University revamp uh, this uh, MEX program. And Christina and I are very excited about um, the, the changes and the future of the program. So um, just to give you a little bit about myself, um, Again, my name is Deshaun Wynn. I have more than 25 years of experience in the meeting and event planning industry. Um, my background is in education, nonprofit, fundraising, corporate events. I have a very background of, of planning uh, different types of events. I started my company in 2010. Um, my company uh, specializes in content uh, design and strategy. Um, I currently also serve as the Director of Strategic Sponsorship for Meetings Professionals International, Southern California chapter. And I also serve on the membership committee for the National Coalition of Black Meeting Professionals. Unfortunately, Christina, my co-lead in this uh, program, is, was unable to join us today. But just to give a little bit about her background, uh, she has over 15 years of experience in the media and planning uh, industry. Um, what's unique about our relationship is she and I actually met as students in this very program over 10 years ago. Um, we are both certified meeting professionals. Uh, Christina has her master's of arts degree in social entrepreneurship. Um, and she is currently the director of operations for uh, the executive education program at Pepperdine's Gracia Dio School of Business and Management. Um, so I told you a little bit about uh, us, and now I want to know who is in the room today. So we are going to do a very quick poll to see who is in the room and what brought you to this information session. So uh, you should see a poll pop up on your screen and it's gonna give you a few choices. And just let us know, um, why are you here today? Uh, you know, is it because you wanna, you're new to the industry, you want some new skills? What has you looking into the MEX program? So if everybody can just take a moment and fill out that poll and we'll see the results in just a few minutes. Uh, Nisa will bring them on the screen for us and we can see who is in the room. And we do and thank you for being here. Yes. For those who are uh, joining, watching the rebroadcast, the question is, what brings you here? And the choices are, I would like to learn about and or enter the industry. I am currently in the industry and looking to grow skills. I am not directly in the industry and want to define my skills, or I am looking for CEUs as an industry designation requirement. So we have about 92% uh, that have participated. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the poll now and share the results. So right now we have, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead to shop. No, 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 that's great. So we have about 50% saying that I would like to learn about or enter the industry. Very cool. Um, we have 17% saying that you're currently in the industry and would like to grow skills, wonderful and not directly in the industry and want to diversify skill set. Awesome. So as I explain the program, um, you will get to see just how um, the program will allow each of you um, all of the different uh, reasons. Uh, I, I think that we have developed a program that will um, meet all of your needs. So for right now, let's just take a uh, a look at where our industry is right now and, and how things are going for our industry um, and just look, look at some, some data. So the meeting and events industry represents, it's a $280 billion industry. So it's not small. Um, we directly employ 1.7 million people in this industry. 
uh, which is larger than a lot of your other industries, such as uh, broadcasting and telecommunications, which uh, employs about 1.3 million. So our, the next thing that we're gonna look at is a graph. And this graph is going to talk about the growth of the meeting and event planning interest, uh, industry. So these are statistics that came from the US Bureau of Labor and uh, Labor Statistics. And it was uh, projected that our industry was gonna grow 8% from 2019 to 2029 nationwide. Um, in California, the picture is even brighter because there, uh, it was projected 11% increase in job growth and more than 2000 job openings projected um, over the next two years. Our profession was ranked one of the top 25 best jobs in uh, the year 2020. And so I know that you're sitting here and you're saying, okay, we just went through a huge pandemic. Uh, you know, our industry was hit hard. And yes, that that is very true. Um, the the uh, COVID-19 did affect our industry greatly. However, our industry is definitely in a state of recovery right now. And it the projections of uh, where we're going to end uh, in the next couple of years is really great. So North Star Meeting Group uh, just did a report and it's reported that the industry and meetings will have recovered 58.3% by the end of this year, 2022. Um, in 2023, it is projected that the industry will have recovered 86.9% of the lost meetings. And the volume for meetings in 2024 is anticipated to exceed the levels that it was in 2019. So our industry is not dead. Um, this is an amazing time to start growing your skills and start getting to, um, to understand the industry and, and you know, building that resume because meetings are, are definitely coming back and you want to um, set yourself apart by getting some amazing skills. So now let's look at who should attend the certificate program. Um, any person who finds themselves having to gather people together will benefit from the certificate program. So even if you do not want to carry a title of a meeting planner, maybe you are in human resources or you are in public relations, but you find yourself having to hold events or having to um, you know, pull people together for meetings, you are going to want to know the skills that are taught in this certificate program. They are going to help you also. Um, but if you do want to come into the meeting and event planning industry, but maybe you want to be a wedding planner or you want to do social events, high profile events, celebrity events, um, or if you want to be a corporate planner, we are definitely going to teach the skills that are needed for those jobs. If you are on the supplier side and maybe you are a convention service manager or you're a sales manager and you just want some other skills, you want to understand the planner side of things, this is definitely a certificate program that you want to look at. Also, for those of you who are currently in the industry and you might be interested in getting a industry designation such as your um, certified meeting professional CMP, um, the credit hours that you need to test for a lot of these designations, you will get those credit hours from this course and it will help you to progress and to take those uh, certifications. So the hospitality and industry, it's, it's huge. It's a vast industry. Um, there's a variety of career paths that you can take within this industry, or uh, yeah, career paths that you can take within this industry. And uh, we have built a program that will introduce you to a lot of different career paths. And so, and, and, and you may find that there are some careers that you haven't even uh, thought about that, you know, might pique your interest through taking this program. So, you know, entrepreneurship, supplier side, um, destination management uh, side, um, you know, corporate versus social. There are so many different areas um, of, of professions, uh, professional paths that you can take. And we will help you um, to, to broaden your knowledge of, of all of these different areas. So um, now let's 
look at how um, this uh, pro certificate program is a bit different. Um, so it is one course, but so it's one registration, but there are seven class sessions. So we built this program so that each session will, the knowledge that you learn in one session, you will build upon in the next session. So it's all of the, everything that's being taught through this, it, it gives you, it, it starts to, to build and to give you a broader knowledge so that um, when you go and you start doing this in the real world, you, you have a full um, aspect of, of, of the meeting planning industry. Um, you'll receive templates and tools that you can use in your real world meetings and events. These are things that you can use in the day of <laughs> or the day after attending the course. And there's things that we use on a daily basis. So it, it's not just theory, it is actually um, real world uh, experience. Um, we're going to look a little bit more into the schedule. So the classes take place on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, with a lunch um, in, or time for to take a lunch in between. Um, you will complete the program in seven weeks. Uh, there are two opportunities a year to take the course um, in the fall and the spring. Um, we are going to have um, five uh, virtual sessions, which will be via Zoom, but we will be having two sessions that will take place in person, and I'll just uh, go into more detail about those uh, a little bit later. Um, if you want uh, to uh, look at the actual course schedule and when each class will take place, the program kit is in the chat. So definitely download that, uh, that kit for the exact dates of when everything will take place. Um, the other thing that I'm really excited about um, are we, we will have subject matter experts that will be coming into the program each week to really discuss and talk about their day-to-day -day experiences and um, uh, just give key insight and information for those who are taking um, the class. So, um, with that, I want to do one more poll um, because again, I want to know who's in the room. So uh, when you considered taking this uh, MEX course, I just want to know uh, what skills or what topics was more, was, is more exciting to you. So we have a list here. So uh, we have budgeting, risk management, venue selection, planning basics, career planning. So of these different topics and options, what is standing out to you as um, most exciting or, or the skill that you want uh, to, to learn the most? So again, give you a few minutes to take this poll um, and let us know. And it doesn't have to be the most fun, you know. Budgeting may not be the most fun, but <laughs> it might be the thing you need to learn the most. So what has brought you here today? And when we have a good number, Anissa will show us the results. What do you think is the most exciting upcoming part of these different uh, aspects right now in the industry? Um, I... Is it all blends together, but I think that as far as the basics, um, you know, when it, when it, even though it doesn't sound fun, budgeting, risk management, those are, are, I think the, the key um, elements. Um, actually, I can't answer that because then I'm, I'm just, I'm going through all of them. The site selection, the, they're all great. <laughs> That's excellent. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the poll. We have 80% participating, but I'm going to go ahead and get us going. And here are the results. So the question again is, what do you want to learn? Budgeting, risk management, venue selection and services, which includes food and beverage, audio, visual, etc. Planning basics and career planning. So well, nobody wants to know about risk. Okay. No. <laughs> so we'll change that by the end. But no, it's it's good. I'm glad to see that 33% are looking at budgeting and uh, career planning is great. So 
that is, thank you for participating in that. And as we, um, we'll, what we'll do now is we'll really look into the coursework. Um, so the next slide that we're gonna look at are our class sessions. And so that you can see the topics that we are going to be talking about. Um, as you look at this list, you will see that there's not a specific class that talks about hybrid events. And there's not a specific class that talks about wedding planning or corporate events or social events. And um, that's done on purpose because of the fact that um, there, we're, there are skills that, uh, the skills that we're gonna teach each week are, are skills that go across all different types of meetings. So um, each week we will talk about um, how, uh, you know, how, how budgeting for a hybrid event um, is different than budgeting for it in person or when we're going through the, um, the risk management, you know, we'll talk about how the risk for a corporate event will be different from a, the risk of a social event. So we will be looking at all aspects of the meeting and event planning industry, but we will not be having a specific course about um, virtual or hybrid. So don't think that uh, because you don't see it on here, we won't touch it. Um, I, if anything that we have learned from the pandemic is, uh, virtual and hybrid events are here to stay, um, and they are a very important part of our industry. So now we are going to go into each session and just give a little bit more of a deep dive into what we will be talking about. So uh, the first session um, is planning basics, leadership, and people management. So this is really going to uh, deep dive into um, how do you start your event planning um, uh, uh, path and in terms of identifying the goals and objectives of the event? Who are the stakeholders that are a part of the event? Developing your meeting timelines and, and what do you need to do um, at the beginning and the start of the event? And just really understanding what goes into um, planning an event. Also, uh, we will talk about the fact that uh, a meeting is not a meeting without people. So therefore, you know, a successful planner does not work alone. So the skills needed to lead a team, to, to, uh, to help, you know, manage volunteers, to manage stakeholders, sponsors, all of those things, it takes skill as far as people skills. And so we will talk about that. Um, in the next uh, session, um, we are going to give a little bit more information, well, not a little bit, a lot more information into financial and contract management. So, um, you know, again, how do you budget for a meeting? How do you stay, how, um, how do you stay in budget? How, you know, what can you negotiate for? You know, how do you cut costs? Um, when you take this class, you will also be given an Excel template that you can use. It's, it's a template that we use um, that helps to identify cost of meetings. Um, it, it has some of the key calculations that you need in order to um, calculate you know, your tax and your room rates and your, your food and beverage costs. So all of that will be in the tool that we give to you. Uh, we will also talk about some cost saving measures and how that affects the bottom line. The other very important part of this class that I'm excited about is our contract management course. Um, and we will be talking about important contract clauses. Um, contract clauses are especially um, uh, important right now, you know, after coming off of the pandemic, um, we'll be learning about, you know, um, force majeure clauses, which were very popular for the last two years. And, and when something happens, you know, how do you break a contract or how do you move a meeting and, and what goes into that? Um, now that the world has changed, what clauses um, need to be added to our contracts or what are we missing? So um, we will have a industry attorney that will be coming in and helping us and talking about common mistakes that he sees in um, contracts. So our next session that we will be discussing is um, the RFP and RFQ process, requests for proposals and requests for quotes. So these are the tools that you will be using when you're soliciting um, or you're sourcing venues, when you're trying to get pricing information for decor 
or for your audio visual, these are the tools that you will be using. And so we will teach you what needs to be in those tools and what information your vendors need. Um, we will also be going through your event specification guide, which is a tool that is given to your vendors to make sure that they actually um, bring what it is that you need and they actually provide the services that you need. Um, so we will start or we will teach, you know, how to develop that um, ESG and, and what needs to go in there. Um, we will also be talking about uh, destination management organizations or what we call DMOs um, and what how they can help you with sourcing venues. If you're going to um, a different city, um, how they can help you um, in cities that that you may not be familiar with. So we will um, be discussing those um, aspects of the industry. Um, in week four, um, that is when we will go into risk management. So we will start talking about, you know, and, and what's really interesting about risk management is um, even before the pandemic, uh, this was an important part of the meeting planning process. And it's things that you, you know, um, you may not, necessarily see as being risks, such as um, dietary uh, restrictions and, and, and allergies and things like that, that goes into your risk management plan. Um, you never know as far as labor disputes and how that could affect your meeting. So these are all things that you have to think about um, uh, in planning your meeting. And, and we'll uh, talk about how to identify and measure these risks, how to um, implement a procedure to mitigate those risks. Um, and you will also receive another template um, as to how to put together an actual emergency action plan um, that you can use for your meetings. Um, we are also right now in a time of cancel culture. So um, we will start talking about our, we will, we will talk about public relations and, and how to protect yourself and your organization from a PR nightmare. Um, so we'll start talking about social media policies and um, talking to the press. And the other thing is, you know, uh, you can have the greatest uh, risk management plan in the world, but it doesn't always save you from actually having a mishap at one of your events. So we'll talk about what happens then. Um, what, what do you do afterwards? How do you uh, bounce back from a bad press event? So those are all the things that will be covered in session four. Session five is another, um, uh, another session I'm very, very excited about. I am thankful to uh, Terranea uh, Resort in Rancho Palos Verdes um, that has agreed to host our session five class. And you will have a hands-on behind the scenes experience. Um, and, and in this experience, you will learn how to conduct a site inspection. You will discuss room setups, um, food and beverage, and, and how to select menus. Um, you will also go uh, see and go into um, what goes into preparing your meals. Um, and as far as, you know, we will look at audiovisual requirements and we will talk to uh, the people on site about who handle the audiovisual. We'll talk about negotiation, um, and we'll also talk about how prices are set. And so what the, the key takeaway for us for this session is really to understand and see the other side of planning um, to, to kind of pull back the curtain. And so that you have a true understanding of what goes into putting a meeting together, not just from the planner side, but also from the supplier side because when you have this understanding, it creates a better working relationship with your planner and it creates that win-win relationship. And you know, you cannot, again, you can't put on a meeting by yourself. So you really do want to develop a really good um, um, relationship with your suppliers. So uh, we will definitely talk about that um, in session five. When we get into session six, that is where we'll start going into our career planning. And again, there are so many different careers that make up our industry. And we will look at both the planner side as well as the supplier side. 
Um, we will look at areas of entrepreneurship. Um, we will also um, look at social versus corporate. So um, we, we really want to give a broad perspective of everything um, that is involved in uh, the meeting and planning industry. Um, we have someone who is going to be coming in to offer resume and resume tips, um, showing how to stand, uh, stand apart, how to uh, showcase those uh, skills that you have um, received. And we will also talk about networking and how to utilize networking and mentorship to expand your career. So with that, I'm gonna pause for just a moment to take a look at um, the guest speakers that we have lined up uh, to come in and speak to you because I am, we have an excellent um, group of people who are coming in. We have Bruce Cox, who is a um, well-known industry attorney um, and he uh, is preparing for you just you know, with his experience um, in, in, in this industry, just some mistakes that he sees and also just uh, really trying to help you make sure that your contracts are um, as solid as they can be. Uh, we have Carol Rubin, who is a emeritus faculty uh, uh, from, with this program. Uh, she's gonna be coming back to serve on our final panel to just help offer uh, career advice, give information about the industry and how to, to move through this industry. Um, she has a vast um, uh, uh, experience and uh, she has some great stories. So hopefully she'll tell some of those stories for us. Um, Jackie Wiseman, uh, she is the Director of Digital Marketing and she is going to uh, come in and she is going to offer the information on personal and event marketing. Jackie Chang is the Assistant Director of Career Programs and Marketing at UCLA Economics. And uh, she will be giving us uh, resume tips um, for uh, career advancement. Jocelyn Crawford, uh, she is a celebrity event planner and she is the owner of Kairos Custom Events. Uh, she is going to talk about her um, entrepreneurial journey, and she's also going to be talking about what it's like to plan high profile and social um, social events. So I'm really excited to have her on the team. We have Joe Marcy. Joe Marcy is going to talk to us a bit about the supplier side of, of meetings and events. Um, he is also going to be talking to us about networking to advance your career. Joe is um, very active in both inside the, in, in organizations inside the industry as well as um, outside the industry. And so um, he is also the executive for the Monterey, Monterey County Convention and Visitors Bureau. He also has a background in um, hotel sales and management. So he's really going to speak towards uh, careers on the supplier side. Kimberly Stansell, she is an independent meeting and event strategist. Um, she is uh, going to help us in, in terms of careers on the planner side. And she has a very unique perspective when it, and approach when it comes to entrepreneurship. So she is more of an independent planner um, and, and not necessarily a, um, a planning firm. So she has a unique um, take to entrepreneurship. And I think it'll be just beneficial to see the different ways in which you can do entrepreneurship in this industry. Uh, Dr. Crystal Rawls, uh, she is um, uh, the, the designer for the work, Workforce Integration Network um, at uh, Cal State University Dominguez Hills. And she's really going to talk about the data and talk about uh, the careers fields that are the careers that are in the industry and what companies are looking for as far as skill set and where the jobs are. So she is going to bring the data to tell you what is available right now. Um, and then uh, last but not least, we have Mariless Croc, who is the vice president of meeting and partnership of sales for Visit Anaheim. And again, she's going to talk from the supplier side of things. And she will um, uh, 
talk more about how to work with a destination management uh, organization. Uh, she will also talk about uh, the supplier side. She also had a career in hotels at Marriott. So again, um, we have a uh, amazing uh, set of guest speakers lined up for you. Um, the knowledge that you will be able to get from them. Um, just question, you know, bring your, your, your best questions. They are excited and open to um, answering and, and giving you more information about this um, meeting planning journey. <laughs> All right, so now we will go back to our sessions and we will discuss the last session um, that will take place, uh, session seven, which is the capstone project. So what we really wanted to do, again, um, like I spoke about the fact that we want each session to build upon the knowledge that you had, but we didn't just wanna leave you with you know, these lectures. We wanted to um, give you the experience of actually working through the tools and, and actually um, doing the work. And, and um, so that is what the capstone project and presentation is all about. Um, it is, uh, what, what you'll do is you will present to a panel um, a plan for a social or corporate function, and you will utilize the tools that we have been giving you throughout the, um, uh, throughout the, the seven weeks um, to put this plan together. Um, and then the purpose of the panel is really just to give feedback in terms of um, ideas uh, of how to you know, utilize the tools and, and how to um, just do, how to approach the work in a, in a way that is useful to you um, and, and to give tips and ideas. Not, it's not to you know, grade, oh, you did bad, but really we just want you to have that hands-on experience and, and utilizing um, the tools and, and having a group of people that can give you a little bit more knowledge about how to utilize those tools. Um, the, also, this panel will be available to pro, um, provide any information that you need about the next steps in your career journey. So um, it, it's really, um, this, this capstone project is really uh, designed to help you have a next step after you're done with this class. So again, let's take another look at the benefits of attending this certificate uh, program. By the end of this program, you will have um, the critical skills that you need to success successfully plan and implement a meeting, an event, a training, a development series, a company function, whatever it is that, that you are tasked with planning. You will um, understand budgeting, uh, negotiations, contracts and the management of the event as well as people. Um, and then also you will have a, um, a treasure chest of templates and um, that you can use to apply to your um, meetings and events directly at the end of um, participating in the program. So Christina and I are um, extremely excited about this program. Um, we're, uh, we're, we're excited about the changes that, that we've been able to make. And we really hope um, that you see the benefit. And I hope that all of you will join us um, and, and enroll in the program. And with that, I will give it back to Anissa okay. to take us to the next part. Thank you very much, Deshaun. That was such a great overview of all of the incredible information about the program. And I know everybody is like super excited uh, to find out more and to get started. Um, so we wanna make sure that everybody knows a few additional details for the logistics. Uh, we're gonna be coming back to Deshaun momentarily for our Q&A segment. But first, let's take a quick look at the course delivery and registration details. So almost all of the CSUDH extended education programs are being offered in an online format, which means that students are assigned online access through our campus's IT services. 
and each student will need login credentials to access our student portal, which is called MyCSUDH. This portal includes Blackboard, our learning management system, uh, ToroMail, which is our Gmail-based student email system, and of course, Zoom, which is the web conferencing tool. Now, these login credentials, which consist of your username, your email account, and password, are issued through our registration office approximately two to three business days after re uh, registration in your first segment of the course. Um, so enrollment and registration is available from our Extended Education Registration Office Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, if you've taken a course with us here at CSUDH uh, within the last two years, you may be able to register online using your mycsudh.edu account. Now, we highly recommend that you register early to make sure that there's space in the course and to allow enough time for course information and online access to be created and distributed to you. Payment is due at the time of registration. And if you do need any additional financial assistance, please Google private student loan providers or connect with sallymay.com for student loan details. So once you've registered, or we're gonna remind you that uh, we wanna make sure that you have enough time. So please make sure that you register at least one week before the course begins. And then once you've registered, once you receive your login information, you'll be able to easily access the Toro student portal uh, with your class information and check out your Toro mail and the portal, the Blackboard system, and make sure that you check your emails frequently for additional special instructions and campus notifications. Uh, you'll also want to be able to uh, test your account access in Blackboard, get comfortable with the layout for the course, um, such as where to find announcements, Zoom meeting schedules, discussions, and the like. And let us know via our academic technology services if you're having any difficulty connecting. So that brings us now to our Q&A segment. And we want to make sure if you haven't had uh, the opportunity uh, to pull all of your information together and you have some questions for us, please go ahead and add that to our Q&A panel. Um, and Deshaun and I are going to go ahead and pull up the information. I'm going to stop the share so that we can get right on screen. So Deshaun, one of the things that I know is uh, super crucial is people always want to know how do you get hired in this industry if you really don't have a lot of experience? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, and there, there are a variety of different, different ways. Um, uh, there, because the industry is so vast, you know, as far as there are a lot of entry level positions where <clears throat> working in hotels or, or working for other planning companies, um, that's also where networking really comes in, in terms of um, mentorship and uh, having, um, uh, I can't think of the word, where, where you can work side by side with uh, other meeting planning companies and getting that that hands-on experience um and then and you know working for other for other planning companies also getting involved in organizations and volunteering um so that you can uh, again get that hands-on um uh hands-on skills or hands-on um uh, uh experience thank you right. <laughs> hands-on experience right. in a safe place but again, when we when we talk about the the career session, um, you know, we will have a, a, the experts there who can really look at your resume and see how to stand out in terms of the the skills that you do have and how to put those on your resume. Okay, and I think it's pretty interesting that given, especially these. Um, last few years uh, being in the pandemic, that it has shifted a lot of uh, workspaces um, so that people are more familiar with having to better understand how to organize and how to communicate in a team environment and in a meeting uh, setting. And so I think it it's pretty uh, valuable to say, look, I do have some uh, some of these skill sets, but how do I formalize it? How do I make it more relevant to this as a 
particular career as a meeting and event planner. Um, yeah. So um, in that uh, course experience, as students are going through their coursework, uh, is there homework or takeaways or things that they're going to find relevant to what they may be already involved in currently? Can you tell definitely. us about that? Uh, uh, definitely. Uh, you know, um, the the skills learned in the budgeting course, you know, uh, again, if you are a human resources uh, person or a public relations person, like they're definitely going to be um, information in, in that section that, that you can use, risk management, um, mm -hmm. definitely, you know, things that you can use across a variety of, of careers. Um, when it comes to room setups, you know, ordering food and beverage and menus and things like that, you know, that that's something that, that isn't just limited to a meeting planner, but goes uh, across a broad range of um, careers and, and, and industries. And the other thing to think about um, when you were mentioning, you know, the just how many jobs and careers are out there is, you know, what was eye opening to me as I go through this industry is looking at how many different companies have um, event planners on their staff, you know, like your your in and out burgers and your AAA and and law firms, you know, these are all, you know, uh, uh, industries or, or companies that you don't necessarily know that they have event planners because, you know, everybody has a meeting. So, so you know, it, it, it really opens your eyes to just um, what is out there and how you can utilize the, um, the skills. Okay. Um, it sounds like the students are going to get a wealth of information from you, the instructors, from the course materials online, from the guest speakers and so on. Are there any textbooks or other required material that the students are required to buy uh, in order to proceed with the course? No, you will not need to, to purchase anything. Um, we will um, be providing all of the templates, everything that you need will be provided in um, the, the Blackboard system through Cal State University Dominguez Hills. Um, and you will be able to, to download that information and it is yours Excellent. with your registration. And with this upcoming cohort, um, is there a maximum number of students that are registered in any particular term or cohort segment? Um, we, <laughs> we, we, uh, the, the only course that, that we may have to um, uh, a limit will be our site selection. So it would uh, definitely uh, um, be advantageous to register early. Um, because that will be our insight meeting um, at uh, at the the venue, and so uh, because we will be um, at their facility, um, but no, there is not a maximum number. Okay, um, Jean Jeanne King, I'm not sure if I'm saying your name properly. I hope I hope that's okay. Um, asks, will it be necessary to take more than one course? And I think that might be a throwback to the previous version of the program. And so we have a little bit of a shift. So can you give us the difference between the two? So it's one course um, with seven sessions. So um, again, we we wanted it to um, we want we wanted to make sure that 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 you had a full perspective of of everything that goes into meeting and event planning. So each course will course will build upon each other. So um, you really don't want to miss um, a course because you it will each course will help you in the next stage of learning if that makes sense. So it is one course, okay. seven sessions. Okay, and along those lines, I know sometimes there's a question of what happens if there is a schedule conflict and someone is unable to attend a particular session of the course a particular day. Unfortunately, that's a lot of information to miss out on in order to complete for the certificate. Um, so we do recommend that students uh, contact our program office at learn at csudh.edu um, and coordinate in advance whenever possible to make sure uh, and we'll make arrangements and so on. But we always wanna make sure that students don't miss out a single solitary piece of the course information because it's also invaluable. 
Um, so another question we get is, um, what types of professional organizations are available for meeting and event planners? And are there any student components to those as well? Um, so yes, there are so many uh, uh, industry organizations that are available. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, I um, serve on the board of directors for Meeting Professionals International, which is probably one of the largest um, industry organizations. It is international. Um, and they have uh, local chapters. I'm a part of the Southern California chapter, and they do have opportunities for students um, to come in and, and uh, get a membership under a student rate um, while you're a part of the program. A lot of other organizations such as um, PCMA, um, which uh, caters more towards nonprofit organizations and, and planners who plan for nonprofits, um, they uh, also have a student uh, membership. Um, there's also a uh, site SoCal site. Um, they specialize in incentive meetings. Um, when it comes to weddings, there are uh, wedding organizations uh, that um, you can join and be a part of with other wedding planners. Um, ILEA is a, a live event uh, association and they cater more towards social. So these are also aspects of the, the industry that we will discuss um, throughout the course and, and give you more information about how to get involved in them and um, just really how to utilize these networks to build your career and to move forward. Okay. Um, another question we have is what kind of certificate do I get? Um, and I'm going to go ahead and answer that one. Um, this is a, a fully uh, accredited university, California State University, Dominguez Hills, as part of the CSU system. And the certificate is from the College of Extended and International Education. It does count towards CEUs. And we also have a digital credential portion to this, um, in which case you will be able to display your um, completed certificate as a digital badge on your LinkedIn profile or uh, through the Badger platform, which is an open badges platform. So it really helps to build your, your collection of digital assets that have uh, such a great way to demonstrate how you have earned your skills and how you have built up uh, your collection of resources uh, towards uh, putting you into a career path. So um, we highly want to encourage everyone to um, make sure that you're pursuing digital credentials as well whenever you're doing any kind of training, but this program definitely meets those uh, requirements. Um, we will get ready to end our Q&A segment, but if there's any last questions, go ahead and get those in the Q&A panel. Um, and Deshaun, can you just tell us a little bit about what you're excited for in the industry, you personally as a meeting and event planner? We are back in person. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, I was at a uh, conference yesterday and uh, the speaker said um, that you don't necessarily learn what you want to do as much as you learn what you do not want to do. Um, and so through this pandemic, I've learned a lot about what I do not want to do. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm thoroughly and very excited about um, the recovery and meetings in person coming back and, and being able to see people face to face. Definitely, definitely. Well, we see that no other additional questions are coming in. Deshaun, I want to thank you so much for this invaluable information. You, you've covered every detail and we love it. And I know people are excited to get started. Um, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and continue our share. We want to make sure that everyone uh, uh, knows how to get in touch with us in case there was anything that we missed. Um, please feel free to email us or call us uh, during our business hours, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, you can email us at learn at csudh.edu or call 310-243-2075. And when you're ready to take your next steps and get registered, please call our registration office. They'll be standing by to take your registrations via phone at 310 Two four three three seven four one, and be sure to click on option one. 
Uh, and remember, if you've been a student here at Dominguez Hills, simply log into your MyCSUDH account and go ahead and register to get your courses going. So, let's see, this concludes our meeting and event planning certificate program information session. And we wanna thank you for joining us today. Again, feel free to connect with us on our website, via social media, on our Facebook page and LinkedIn group. And remember to register early to get your spot in your preferred class. So we'd love to get your feedback on today's session. So please let us know how we can improve the quality of the information provided by visiting bit.ly slash CSUDH dash webinar dash feedback. The survey will also be available via a follow-up email to attendees. So we'll stay in the session for just a few minutes more uh, to make sure that everybody has a moment to jot down last minute details, last notes, download the information kit from the chat panel and so on. Uh, the recording for this session will be online shortly on our website and we're actually live right now on YouTube. So when you're ready to leave, simply click the red leave button in the corner of your screen once again, we thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you in class and stay safe. Thank you, everyone.